when in the state requires every consumer to purchase insurance, it's incumbent on us as state government to make sure that they're getting the best deal that they can, especially in these times when having a car and having the ability to drive is so critical uh, to people's economic stability and economic well-being. Right now the way they are setting the rates is very unfair. It's based more on a person's education or where they might live or where they work and it really should be um, set based on a person's driving record. In Michigan, insurance companies can arbitrarily raise their rates without prior approval from the Michigan Insurance Commissioner. As a result, insurance premiums in our state have skyrocketed 69% from 1989 to 2005. Michigan drivers now pay the second highest annual average premium in the country. Because companies use consumers' education, occupation, and credit scores to set rates, someone with a drunk driving conviction and a good credit score gets a lower auto insurance premium than the policyholder who's never been in an accident but has a poor credit score. It's number one. Number two, the 73 percent of Michiganians who don't have a four-year college degree are automatically excluded from the best rates, meaning they may have to pay 30 to 50 percent more for insurance.